Hey everybody, it's uh, Steve Mike420 back again with another uh, Geek Cast here. Uh, just going to give you a quick demo of Windows 7 RC1 and uh, Clear Qualm in Vista Media Center. Um, I actually have an H HP HD TV tuner piece, uh, express card tuner. I'll show you here. It's that one right there. And I just install, upgraded from Vista Ultimate Edition to Windows 7 on my HP laptop. Car is still booting uh, OS 10 still. And uh, to my surprise, after I configured my tuner, I found out that hey, we support Clear Qualm now. Which what does that mean? Basically, Clear Qualm is it lets you receive and decode and view unencrypted HD channels over a coaxial connection. So basically, I have basic cable, and in turn can now get full HD by just using my uh, basic cable connection here. So, and what it does too, it lets you do HD via coaxial without a cable card, since the channels are unencrypted. Uh, just a note, the Cyberlink Power DVD uh, Blu-ray plugin does not work, at least not with my, uh, not the Blu-ray aspect of it, with Windows 7. It does work nicely though in Vista Media Center. So we'll just quick look at just our guide here. Right now, it looks like I'm recording, I believe, a little family guy here. Let's see. So you'll notice here we have these other channels too. These are actually uh, Microsoft ones, internet TV type ones. So let's see, we'll just take a look at the news just for fun. Um, it actually will connect to the internet and we'll get some MSN videos, business related ones. So let's see here, we'll look at the housing prices down, which is a pretty obvious news story, I would say. It uh, looks like it's about 480i resolution wise. For all the optimists looking for a silver lining in a very tarnished housing market, good news has been hard to find, but the bad news it just comes See, here, we'll out. Quick tune right into uh, the national. Here's uh, just to prove it to you 29.1. It's an HD channel, it's a uh, clear qualm one. Getting it in here. Visit carsoup at my29tv.com. So that's kind of the uh, the whole uh, HD factor going on there. As you see, I have my I just actually added only my HD channel since I don't plan on recording any of the analog ones. Um, radio tuner also works in Windows 7. Got the of course movies, music areas. Let's see here how this looks. I haven't really messed around too much. Does the album art of course, like you know, like all Windows. Um, so yeah, just some quick Vista, our uh, Windows 7 Media Center. Let's see some fun stuff in um, Windows 7 here. I, I personally like the Windows, how you can do, how you handle Windows in. Let's get two Windows open. It's the cool thing. Here's some eye candy for you. Got one of those. Notice how it does the transparent. Then you got the old Alt or uh, Start Menu tab styled. Of course, you have. You can do one of these to minimize the desktop. You can highlight when you hover. Previous. Pretty neat, huh? Of course, you have one time you can close all windows then. So yeah, some cool stuff. Um, again, my Netflix plugin for Media Center also did not work, and also the um, the Power DVD Blu-ray add-in did not work either. So two things. Uh, of course, you have your widgets here on the desktop you can use to pull up the shows you've recorded. Kind of go through them, give you a preview. So, you know, kind of cool. Nonetheless, so clear qualm, awesome. That's one reason I know I will be upgrading to Windows 7 on my HP desktop. I think I'll stick with Vista for right now, even though I hadn't had, since I have not had any problems and don't feel like purchasing a license. But laptop wise, HP Express card wise, yeah, clear qualm, baby. Built in. Finally, Microsoft. Aight, don't want to bore you anymore. Peace.